been a long day, long, long day. Thank you. Like I was saying, throughout my, uh, my lovely career of owning Steak and Shake, uh, I get that kind of opportunity to go out shopping on lines and, and stuff. I was saying, being able to shop online. And uh, if anything, just for you guys to know, this is a response to uh, a good friend of mine, Ian Moore, uh, when he found uh, this mysterious device. We're not sure exactly what it's called, but um, I was watching his video, and he was telling me how, how to actually work one of these things. And uh, I was following along, he turned around, and Stands up just like this, and then fold it back. And when he mentioned about the, the curvature, I noticed, wow, mine has the curvature too. And I was like, but, you know, not all my fingers are completely curved. And so, but, you know, it still, it, it still works great. And uh, also, with my luxury, Luxurious money, I was able to purchase not just this one, but a more pocket sized. Better for traveling. And this one, too, is also curved. Um, and uh, with this, like you mentioned, some of them have filers. Well, I was lucky enough. Well, I can't say lucky because I got lots of money. Um, it came with a filer. filer. And as you see right there, and I'll try to. Try to Try to bring. Never mind. As you see, there's just the filer right there, and you can just take your finger and, you know, slide it across like that. And, uh, you know, you have to do that. Love my life. Just love it. Um, soak it in. Thank you, once again. Again, through my uh, my shopping spree, bought this one device, it's uh, kind of heavy in weight. I don't know, maybe, I was told it's an ancient device, um, like the cavemen used it. It's kind of crazy, just, just look at it. It's huge, just, it's a block. It's like, it's like my wallet. And if I stand on this, I'm like eight feet tall. It's just crazy. But um, supposedly it holds music. And uh, yeah, well, right now the battery's dead. I'm sorry. It won't turn on. But um, no, wait, I'm sorry. Here it comes. You see, maybe you can see the little apple. Not, maybe, okay. But um, other than that, it's an ancient device. Uh, I've been told the cavemen used it. I guess it was just that easy, like Geico. But um, other than that, it's a musical device. Uh, this one I found, I was able to put 5,000 songs to let you know there's not a single black person on this iPod. It's amazing. It's just 5,000 songs of white people. It's, it's unbelievable how I was able to do it, but I did it. Tell you, this is another device. I have to tell you, great what money can. It's amazing what money can buy. It's the endless wine. And from the research that I put into it, and I looked up, Jesus touched this. He did. It would not, no matter how much you drink from it. It's a, it's like the gobstopper, like Willy Wonka. I'm pretty sure you guys watched Willy Wonka before. Uh, the candy that never ends that kind of thing well this is it this is the exact water that Jesus turned into wine so yes, that's, that's, that's some great stuff you're a helping hand thank you, thank you. so throughout my studies today and uh 
getting back to relax. I was about to have dinner, a little appetizer, I guess you can say. And uh, I came across, and I wanted soup. And uh, the only, I would say, eating utensil that was available was uh, this little thing. You know, I'm not completely sure what it is. But uh, what I can tell you, though, it's pretty neat. Like, just look at the designs. Look at the designs. Well, the glare doesn't help. I'm sorry. But um, inside, it has these curvatures and, and stuff. And I was like, do you really eat soup with this? So I tried it. And no matter how much I scooped, it just seemed like it, it would just fall through. It just... And I started getting frustrated. But, you know, thanks to the uh, lovely helping hands of, of my servants, uh, they introduced, you know, they showed me a new uh, eating utensil that uh, that helps with this, and uh, it's a rare, you know, rare Latin word. Uh, it's called. Uh, let's see if I'm pronouncing this right. A spoon. Yes, spoon. I think it's. If I'm correct, it's pronounced spoon, and uh, as you see, it has the handle just like like the fork. Yes, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you this. This is called a fork, uh, and also that Latin language. But yes, it has the same, same handle. But as you notice, there's no lines across. It's just, it kind of has like this, this butt cheek shape. It's weird. It's just, whoosh, ha. You know, you want to get nasty with utensils. But. No, um, so one of my servants, they decided to hand it to me, and they're, you know, Master, will you try this out? I was like, okay, I'm up for new ideas. I was in a good mood. You didn't get beat. I didn't put them in the oven this time for correcting me. But, yeah, so I took the spoon, scooped it, and I noticed, I was amazed. I was really amazed how the soup stood inside the curvature. It was, it was just great. It was great. And so... I was able to enjoy my soup just like that. Now, you know, again, you'd be surprised what money can buy. They, I noticed that these spoons come in different sizes and designs. This one has a rather elegant design. It's kind of like the beach or a leaf. However you decide to look at it, it reminds me of the beach. Um, you know, you have the ones, like I was just showing you, uh, for the little kids. And you have one for the average man. Or for me sometimes, you know, even though I'm not average, but, you know, it works. And also, you have the ones that are for your mama. You know, you got a lot of big mothers out there, I know. You gotta feed them. Take care of the big chicks. Endless wine. God bless you. But yes, this was a response video to uh, Ian Ian Moran's uh, his uh, device, which has yet to be named. Um, so, given the fact that I'm very powerful due to the amount of money that I have, uh, I guess I'll give it a name. And uh, since it seems to work on our fingertips, which right here are called nails, and uh, when I tried to use it, it makes this clipping sound. So thus, I decided to give it a name, and uh, I, uh, I formally call it uh, a nail clipper. Screwdriver. So uh, from now on, if you if you wish to uh, locate these devices on the internet, such as my buddy uh, e uh, Ian Warren, he looked on eBay. Uh, me, I went on Craigslist, which is a little bit more extravagant and eloquent. And uh, but yes, these are now officially called nail clippers. Again, Screwdriver. Yeah, start off like this. Turn it up. It stands just like that, and it folds back. So I want to thank you for taking time and spending time with me in this. Uh, 
this ambience. And, uh, and uh, my, again, my name is Luis Sanchez, and 